by the way, you're not intended to actually do rockets. <laughs> you're not actually intended to do to do to do satellites. That's not the intention. You're you're intended to do the uh, the quantum computing for for space science, not launching rockets. Um, but my only issue is, hey, LDS, hey, power armor Mark II needs LDS. So and the and the portable fusion reactor. So thank you so much for making that much more difficult to get to, uh, much more difficult to get to. And then you know all the Mark IV things in existence. Also, why the hell is this called Mark Roman numeral IV when everything else is O4? Why are we why are we Roman numerals on the uh, on the mushroom stuff and the augs? The aug stuff is Ulrich Vrauk. Zeno, why are we no Roman numerals here when everything else is actual numbers? Ah, <sighs> so yeah. Anyway, things, yeah, glorious things. What's that? Uh, what's that metallic glass, by the way? Oh, you know, a f a few things. It's a few things. You know, uh, you know, born like okay. I look at this and I am thinking, okay. By the time you need this, it's likely that you'll have things like the fine carbon dust, purple. I'm thinking purple science on this, where I'll actually have the ability to do particle accelerated boron powder. Yeah, powdered phosphate's fine. It's just like okay, paramagnetic. Material would be the biggest thing. Myoglobin. Did that actually change? No, this hasn't really changed outside of, you know, urea being the biggest pain in the rear uh, at this point. Oh, that's from someone fixing the grammar. <laughs> Quote unquote. Okay. Sure. Why not? Are you moving? We are we are dead. We are we are dead. We are dead because of probably lack of tailings. Lack of tailings. Yes. Lack of. Uh so I knew it would like start to trickle again just because um we don't have enough of a demand for glass. Uh, so what I'm thinking of doing is, ahem, voiding the excess pure sand. That's one way of doing it. Is, is there, like, a thing I can do with pure sand that would make it easier to delete? I don't, I don't think so. Or stick it on trains. Or make silicon. I can I can make I can totally make silicon and then do other stuff. I I don't know. I do not know the answer to these things. Wait. I don't remember that being that heavy on pure sand. Interesting. Yeah, I remember I remember this being ash. I just don't I just like the amount of times that I've set up the phosphate processing chain, it's like, is that really that much pure sand? Uh yes, actually, apparently. It's that much pure sand. Okay. Uh, we are officially done here. Speaking of which, uh, 
that pure sand, by the way, if I wanted to actually, you know, attempt to void the stacked pure sand, I can't. Because we, I still cannot void stacked items. Because of the load order crap. So even though I can stack things, I cannot then void the stacked things. Uh, which is ever so slightly sad. I need a train now. I need I need trains. I've I've set the things up, but I didn't actually make the trains yet, so let's actually make the trains. That is not a good place to park, by the way. Probably not such a good idea to park on the actual tracks. Alright, you're going to be limited to just one stack each. Uh, do I have a fuel? I do not. How am I not carrying around coke? I am carrying coal. Here, you can... You can have some coal. Uh, so yeah, this is Nexilit Supply. Nexilit Supply uh, to the Nexilit Depot. Let's go. Yes, do your beautiful spaghetti work. Do that beautiful spaghetti work. Uh, and then go get fuel. <laughs> go get fuel, and then come back and do all that wonderful stuff. Hey, at least it feels like right there. <laughs> at least it feels like right there. Just, you know, straight shot. Yes, grab the fuel and come back and do glorious, beautiful things as... Hey, excellent. Slowly, slowly, slowly trickles in. I think we just got another train load of the uh, of the tailings. Of the beautiful tailings. All right, you are going to be looking at uh, I don't know, like six hundred at a time. Uh, one train load, and you are going to be... Ooh, right, I have to do... Alright, who's got next plates? Which tab has the next lit plates? Coal processing has the next lit plates. That's where you live. Next lit depot. Save. Beautiful, beautiful list. Such a beautiful list of stuff. And, uh, yeah, you get to now pull in. The Nexilit. The beautiful, glorious Nexilit trains. And there it is! Welcome, Nexilit! And goodbye! So now all of my beautiful robots will come grab all of it for further processing. Cool. Now we can start moving on to one last thing. There's the Nexilit going places. Just, you know, hey, all the all the bots with the Nexilit. Yes, thank you for taking those things away. Uh, take more things away, actually. That would be good. Clean some of this inventory. Better. Much better. Looks like I need some more, uh... I need some more pumps! That's the rare earth ones, right? Yes, good. Pumps. And... Medium power poles. Uh, and inserters. Yeah. Pumps, poles, inserters.
So, Orum. Cadaveric Orum. Let's have a look at the Cadaveric Orum building. I should have somewhere among all this mess. Somewhere among all this mess. By the way, it's Muckmo! It's the Muckmo pastures! Yay! If we only had a Muckmo. Or, you know, I could just place it and wait for f hours. We could. We could to. Ooh! Point oh two crafting speed. Oh my. We're we're zooming. We're zooming. A hundred and fifty seconds divided by point oh two instead of point oh one is only two hours and five minutes. It's only two hours and five minutes. for Relesia and Mushrooms <laughs> to get our first Muckmo. <laughs> it's only two hours and four minutes. Yeah. <sighs> Gee. How nice. Alright, where's that Orum greenhouse again? Uh, or run here. Cadaveric. Auto saving. Glorious Cadaveric Orum. Coal gas. Cool. Good to see that not all of this is stone wool. <laughs> Just for reference. Uh, I'm glad that not all of this is stone wool. Uh, not all of it is, anyway. Uh, because. Oh boy. Alright. Interesting, it's always a, a one to one. Oh my god, I got a tech! Holy crap, I got a tech. Uh, what now? Uh, is there anything of use? In CP3, I mean in in mining machines three, uh, so coal processing three got the uh, so I can do the sodium hydroxide slacked lime loop now. I can do slacked lime loop, slaked lime. Excuse me, the slaked lime loop because it's totally slaked. Uh. It's also the next lit biomass recipe that I don't think I'm actually going to use. Uh, the coal dust voiding, basically, recipe was here. So yeah, this is, this is a very, very good tech to be able to pick up early. But I was, I spent so much time talking about, hey, I need, uh, I need my actual, just, hello. I need actual logistics. Uh, request tech. You know, getting like belt immunity equipment would be good. To, would be good too. Why is green science? Pie science. Green science. Pie science. Green science. Pie science. Just gonna, just gonna point that out. By again, like again, because I think I've pointed this out before. Just you know, by the way. Green science. Pie science. Green science. Pie science. 
Uh, so I'm thinking that this should actually be locked behind food stage 1 and not behind food stage 2. I think that's the problem. Uh, I think that's the problem, is that this is blocked by food stage 2 when it should be blocked by food stage 1. Maybe? Just maybe? Uh, so what is pie science? Uh, an additional type of science pack that uh, is roughly equivalent with the chemical science pack. That 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 is the the basics to that. It's a it's a new science pack that is roughly equivalent to blue. Yeah, chemical science packs. Yeah, see this takes bodos. This this eats this eats bodos, but the food unlocks the initial food the initial food is a food stage one so these guys these guys should require food stage one not food stage two so the uh the tech requirement here i honestly believe is just wrong it should be after stage one and not after stage two It should be stage one and not stage two, because stage one gives you the, the food for them. The initial food for them, and look at the this tech, you unlock the recipe that uses that food. So, yeah. And it's, cir yeah, it's circuit ones, and red science on the DNA sample, it's circuit one on the codex, and it's alien sample Two, tier two apparently is the new name of it. Um, yeah. So by all rights, we should have access to this, except that it's blocked by a wrong tech requirement for food two instead of food one. So yeah, I, this this should be mar behind. This should be unlocked at food. One, not food two. That's that's the fix. That is a fix for this. And then of course the stage two can be behind uh pie science. Absolutely stage two, three, four, uh, and the high capacity bladder stuff. Yeah, that that's all fine behind the pie science. But uh yeah, this specific tech, fact the the naughties, the naughties at stage one. Uh, should unlock after food stage one, or even before food stage one. Like, why? Why is this even locked behind food to begin with? <laughs> like, why? Why is this even locked behind food to begin with? Surely everything else is fine. Why? Why food <laughs> of all things? But yeah, just shouldn't be stage two food. That's that's that problem. Anyway, so Orum. Uh, I mean, the objectively highest output recipe here on the Orum is going to be the uh, the four Orum recipe at 120 seconds. Uh, gosh, that's still like low, like really low. Uh, but it is stone wool, and uh, we have issues with stone wool. We have some, uh, we have memories. Not particularly gre great memories of Stonewall. And getting Stonewall. Uh, but, I'll tell you what I do have right now. I'll tell you what I do have right now. I have a train station of stone. I have stone on my train network of, you know, five yellow belts worth of stone. So I think the stone wool is okay. And I've also got the, co the coke on the network, so that's... I think we're going to be okay. The issue, quote-unquote... So we're going to bring up Helmod again. Welcome back to uh to to Let's Play Helmod. 
Welcome, welcome back to Let's Stream Hell Mod. Hell Mod Hell. <laughs> Sh shall we? So we name this series Hell Mod Valley, from Paidu Valley. Uh, so we're ultimately looking for sulfuric acid, right? Ultimately, we want uh, sulfuric acid. Of course, once we get access to Xenos, we'll have a Xeno-based sulfuric acid potential. But I'll remind I'll remind folks that Xenos grow out of Mukmo, so you have to feed quote unquote feed Mukmo to get Xenos. So even though it's one Xeno to 80 Sulfuric, you also have to consider the fact that you also have to grow a freaking Mukmo as well on top of that. Um, that's a good Sulfuric Acid ratio. And I think I'll do this. The, yes, use the use the P gas recipe. Use use the P gas recipe because this is two to one acid gas to sulfuric. It's just doing acid and water to sulfuric. This is much much better. <laughs> much much better, and it gives you aromatics, and it gives you aromatics for it. Um, it's five chromium. It's 250 petroleum gas, so we have to figure out something on the petroleum gas uh, for this. Uh, we are actually looking for a output, a specific output value, so keeping this here is fine. Um, and it'll tell us what the inputs are, and that's what I'm actually looking for this time, is what the inputs will be uh, for, specifically, 87.5 minimum. Minimum, 87 and a half. Uh, so we are going to look specifically for at least 87 and a half. <laughs> yeah, removal of vanilla oil processing was very painful. Yes, this... This... Would have been trivial if we still had the vanilla oil processing uh, available to us. It, like, this would just be trivial at that point. You could simply get oil and vanilla crack it to petroleum gas. Like, you could process it into the, the heavy oil, light oil, petroleum gas, and then just crack all the way down to petroleum and just get a bunch of petroleum out of that, but we don't have that anymore. Uh, so less than one on the chromium, 4376 and 2626 on the acid gas. Now here's where things are going to get a little bit interesting. Because this, this right here, this right here is going to be the acid gas. Note, note, this actually gives you two seeds. Note that this gives you two seeds. Yes, the desulfurizator recipes still exist, but that's salt. That's a lot of salt. It is a lot of salt. Can't you mine sulfur? Yes, but the the point here is we are trying to avoid spending iron on sulfuric acid. So yes, the vanilla method, standard method of getting sulfuric acid exists, but the point is to avoid spending iron. Uh, that is, that is the idea, because the amounts of sulfuric acid that we will eventually need are sufficiently high that it ends up being a lot of iron if you're trying to get it the normal vanilla method. Um, 
So, yeah. Stuff. This. This method. Uh, looks like it's 1.05. Wow, that's probably going to be big. Just saying, that's probably going to be a little large. A little large. So, if we do this recipe, and we remember to put in uh, the four Orem modules. Uh, and set that the default for that building. Uh, oh, that's not that bad. That is not that bad. Uh, I could do coal bed, but again, coal bed is filtration media, and that, instead of spending iron, now you're spending zinc! Which, again, the point is to avoid spending those types of metals. Again, uh, just, you know, I am spending a metal, but chromium is a lot more abundant than most other things. So. What do you mean use module priority? I I don't I don't know what you mean. What what does that what does that do? I don't know what that does. So anyway, uh, that's that's numbers. That's numbers right there. Um, I will note you get back enough seeds to keep it going. So this is actually a self-contained system. You just have to throw the other ingredients at it and it'll keep moving. You don't need to worry about running out of seeds when you've provided enough seeds to get it going in the first place. So it's not good. It's a it's a neutral, it's a neutral loop, not a uh, not a net positive loop here. If you're getting acid gas uh, from processing your orum, it was an intentional change. Yes, it's a good change. Uh, frankly, for this, um, we'll have to like start the normal way to get enough modules, quote-unquote, to fill the stuff, but yeah, it will eventually work out just fine. And at this scale, I mean, think of it Think of it this way. This is not a trivial amount of sulfuric acid. This is not a trivial amount of sulfuric acid. And this is a semi-reasonable amount of uh, buildings for this recipe. So if we go through, we can go through and we can add, okay, there's the stone, there's the amount of stone that we need. Cough, cough. Freaking third of a yellow belt. But, like, only two coke, so okay. Uh, the coal gas, how do we, how do we want to get the coal gas? That's, uh, that's another question of the day. Well, we, we, c we can do the normal tar method, that's one of the better, best ways is just tar into coal gas uh so yeah that's not much tar either like if there's even remotely a single tar patch there it's like okay there's your there's your tar um and then you know sand is well free <laughs> sand is free that's like one one sand building is able to push this out one one washer washing soil will put that out because a mark one washer can do up to two and a half sand per second so i know that math uh so what are we really looking at here we're looking at the petroleum gas uh, on this input and then we have to decide okay how are we getting our petroleum gas oh joy what uh what will be this method 
Uh, we could do the non-tin chromium alloy route. Or we can do the tin chromium alloy route. And wait, one one eighty. I'll prefer the aromatics savings, but yes. Uh, so yeah, this this one one light oil refinery, and then we have to think about okay, well, what? Oh, hello. Why, hello there! I mean, I was... Yeah, so the original version didn't return any seeds here. Uh, which is fine. It just bloats the build because then you have to have enough to give the seeds to make enough seeds to keep the thing going it just adds additional buildings so this saves some sanity so yeah we've we've now seen here that this outputs uh more than enough aromatics to keep the system going once you've got enough initial aromatics input the the only issue here is that you will, of course, need to have some initial amount of uh, aromatics, which could be done in any way, shape, or form. So, hey! You hope you get to see the, the Crazy Tholans setup running. What To what uh, Crazy Tholans setup are you referring to? I can think of something... Uh, I will probably, by the way, I will set up a gasifier for the Baugi and Relesia and just bring over a few manually. You want you want to see the the, the crazy the crazy Tholan setup running? Here's here's our here's our crazy Tholan setup running. It's it's operating. It's operational, fully operational Tholan setup making making neo neobium. Our, our very reasonably small Tholan setup, our very small, tiny, tiny Tholan setup. By the way, how's my power looking? Oh, just fine. Just fine. But yeah, we've got, we've got ammonia, we've got stuff and things. My aromatics will be free at some point. Aromatics is no longer completely free, just for reference. Aromatics, like, what was free with aromatics was... What was free was the aromatics out of Faugi and Relesia. This is now a massive setup. This is now massive. Absolutely massive to do free aromatics. Uh, so my power right now, I still need to go like fix the little issues with it, but yeah, my power is natural gas. My power is natural gas. Um, each of these is 72 megawatts uh and i have like uh, i don't know how many one two three four five six seven eight nine ten this is 720 megawatts <laughs> up to 720 megawatts after i like get the stupid thingies issues repaired on it but yeah you know 720 megawatts up to on that setup by itself i'm i am currently okay with power we shall see how that progresses uh with time it does have a boiler missing as, as i as i said it has there are a few issues a is missing boiler uh b is missing small power pole right there missing that small power pole so none none of these 
function. And then this, this missing boiler means none of these function either. So yeah, just, just small issues, <laughs> just small issues. It'll be, it'll be okay. I'm carrying around stuff, right? Let's go. Let's fix this issue. Uh, and let's see here. I guess I'll pin this because, because we're, we're, we're going to build this. We're, we're going to build this, this, this is what we will build right, uh, right here. We shall do some building today. Also, I have like 10 forum sitting here. Oh, right. And I need, uh, I need something for the initial seeds. So I will need some, uh, of those as well. These doohickeys. Uh, where are you? Orum. Yes, Orum. Uh, so the ratio here is two to one. Cool. I like it when things are easy like that. Easy start, yes. Where is my car? It's, yeah, like... It's... Goodbye, rock. Uh, so, yeah, I'm missing, like, 60-something megawatts, potentially, from the setup currently. Because of those uh, little tiny issues. Uh, we'll fix those issues right now. Those issues shall be fixed. That would be a pipe. Hi, pipe. How you doing? Oop, this is not the way to drive. Go down. By the way, I have nickel and zinc, just for reference. You know, just, just for reference. Oh, hey, my... My... Stuff has backed up the uh the the, the the duralumin my my pitiful duralumin has begun to back up yay come on get get down here and then get over like park yes good place that thank you now that's moving come over here all the way over here. I've got a few oil burners and uh, steam engines, by the way. In case you haven't noticed, I've got uh, a few oil burners and steam engines for my power. The uh, the, the the wonderful power plant up here. Uh, is everything else connected? Yes. 